Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and today I'm excited to do a review for you on a product called Synthesis. I have done a lot of reviews on products that are text to speech and a lot of them have been very good and most of them uses either Google Wave or Amazon Polly to create variations of voices. But all in all, you can tell the difference between a real human and an automated voice until synthesis. So this tool here, I'm gonna take you inside and give you a full demo, show you how it works. I've done several examples. I'm gonna let you listen to them so you can hear exactly how they sound for a lot of these voice artists. Um, directly below this video, you're gonna find a link. It'll take you to my website. And I'm gonna have full details about this product on my website along with this review video. And you can also find out about the pricing the upsells, the one-time offers, uh, the prices of those, and also some bonuses you can pick up if you decide to buy Synthesis through my website. Okay, so here we are inside the dashboard. It's super easy to use. Really, the only thing you have to do is come up here to the top and choose the voice artist you want. All depending on the upsell you get, you may or may not have as many voice artists, uh, which all those details will be on my website. So down here is your text box. This is where you're gonna type or paste your script. You are not allowed to use numbers or special characters. If you wanna use a number, you have to spell the number out. So instead of the number one, you just spell out O-N-E and it would read the numbers. So what I've done here is I've done several examples using some of these voice artists and I'm gonna let you guys listen to them so you can hear how realistic they are because they are real people. And so because these are actually real people that's been used to create and, uh, and create this huge database of words that they put together and talk as however you write your script, um, it costs more than a simple tool does that just uses Google Wave or Amazon Polly uh, because these are real people who've, who've invested in this and so they have to pay them for it. Therefore, this is a credits-based system. You have to buy credits to use this. Now, for mine, you can see I've used up close to 1,500 out of 5,000, but you can buy more credits. And the credits are based upon how many uh, words are used, which you can see down here, or characters. And depending on your the upsells you pick up, you may be able to get these a lot cheaper. But you can see you can buy these in bulk, get 50,000 characters for $97 or 100,000 or even 250,000 characters. So if you're an agency or something like that and you plan on selling the service, this may be a great way for you to pick up some of these uh, early during the launch when you get the discounted pricing and you can have this for a very long time to do a lot of projects. Okay, so down here, what we're gonna do, I've already pasted in a script on some of these and it's based on a Little Red Riding Hood story. And I've used a lot of these voice artists and I'm gonna play them so you guys can hear each one of them to what they sound like. Now, all you have to do is click which one of these voice artists you wanna use and each one of them already comes with a demo. So down here, you'll see where it says demo and you can play it. You now listen to a small sample of my voice and you can hear what they sound like before you put your script in here and you use your credits to create it. And so if you just hold down your mouse and you can drag and you can see all these voice artists you have and if you buy the upsell, you even get more voice artists. So I'm kind of uh, very interested in maybe purchasing the upsells too so I can get those because this is gonna be huge uh, for me and my video marketing business, especially with people who want certain characters reading certain voices. So let's go ahead and listen to some of these that I created. Uh, basically, all I done was I pasted my text down here in this box. I clicked create and it created each one of these. So let's go ahead and listen to this first one. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's look at, uh, listen to Mary S. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. Okay, this is Edmund. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. Okay, now this one here, I was a little bit disappointed in this one because I really like this deep voice that this uh, character has here. And it says it's perfect for storytelling, but it... For me, it wasn't very good. So let's go ahead and listen to it. 
Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. So it was kind of more of a monotone. So uh, this may not be as good for storytelling as what you think. Now this one here, this one's probably one of my favorites here. She does really good and really emphasizes words. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak, so everyone in the village called her little Okay, so this one, this is definitely probably one of my favorites. And then we got two more here. We're going to listen to those. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. And for Dan. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. So everyone in the village called her Little Red Riding. So these are the initial characters I believe you're going to get on the front end purchase of Synthesis. They are all amazing. And especially depending on what you're going to be using them for, they may or may not sound quite as good. So for example, this one here, it says she's perfect for a sales page. Well, she sounds really good for telling a story because she really emphasizes, and I'm sure it'd be good for a sales page too. Whereas this one here says it's good for storytelling. It seemed more monotone for the story that I wanted to tell. So it's just something that you're gonna to have to listen to each one of them. Cause if you click on this guy here with the deep sound and if you do the demo, it sounds really good. Let's listen to it. You now listen to a small sample of my voice. If you choose me, I'll do my best to fulfill your needs with my voice talent. You now listen to a So you can hear depending on what you're using it for, it may or may not work for whatever you're trying to create. Okay, so this is synthesis. And up here at the top, the voiceover editor, basically what this allows you to do is to merge multiple files. I didn't do anything with this. I wasn't quite for sure exactly how it worked. I know if you create multiple files, you can put them together to create one file. So if you have multiple uh, scripts here done by the same artist or even different artists, you can merge them all into one, which is pretty unique because there's a lot of different things you can do with that. And then, like I said, the video editor, I don't know a whole lot about that yet. There's not much about that. And the training is not available yet either because it's not ready to come out for at least another week. Uh, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up over this tool so you can get everything ready. If it's something you want to purchase, maybe you can save up for it. Uh, I don't know, but for me, this is a great tool to have uh, for my video marketing campaigns, especially for things that I do for mass videos or for things for my clients where I don't want to use my own voice, but yet I want it to sound real. And so what I can do is I can even combine this, these voices and scripts with the videos that I create using Vidnami. Now, if you're not familiar with what Vidnami is, it's an amazing video creator tool. I'll put a link below this video where you can go there and check it out too and even get a free trial to test it. And there'll be a discount on that page too that you can pick up if you decide to use that. Uh, but this is uh, Synthesis. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. So be sure though to check it out on my website because as of right now, I should have all the prices and everything listed on the website, but that may change over time. If it does, I'm going to update it on my site so you guys know exactly what you're going to be paying for before you get it, along with the upsells and the extra credits you can get for it. And don't forget about the bonuses you can pick up if you happen to buy Synthesis through my website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. That way you'll be notified when I do put out more videos. And if you've got questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.